here are avoiding these areas because they don't want to get killed, which in turn reduces vehicle collisions. But we haven't radio collared deer to estimate this effect. This is just something that we think is plausible based on some previous oh, radio collar Okay, but why are wolves okay. then not getting hit by cars all the time? Do wolves actually sense the danger a of a vehicle and get away though? So here we have a coyote kill. So we're on the 23 freeway. Um, not quite, almost to Olson. Olson Road is down over there. Um, and you can see this section has um, a pretty, pretty open area. There's no um, obvious fences. And this area is a key wildlife corridor we have. So we're basically on the edge of Moore Park uh, near uh, Thousand Oaks over there. And this area has been identified as, from mapping, as being a really key area um, for um, various species of large vertebrates that uh, move through the area. And it's one of the few points when we when we do have access. So there is, if we zoom in, there there are there is a fence, but it's not perfect. Um, and clearly there, there are gaps in, in, in under crossings and other things. This is a key area. You can see this guy, unfortunately, was struck in the, um, in this case, we are, we're on the um, westbound lanes. And so this poor guy got whacked and then uh, dragged or knocked over here or, or pulled himself over here. Um, so another unfortunate event uh, and that hopefully when we have our wildlife uh, more wildlife crossings, such as at Liberty Canyon, etc., um, down on the 20, with, on the 101, which is which is a few miles that way, a few miles that way. Those types of crossing structures can hopefully channel wildlife into safer crossing areas and discourage movement in areas where they're more likely to get struck and killed by vehicles.